Not too many 21-year-old men can boast a Ferrari in their garage and a pop star girlfriend by their side. But there aren't too many 21-year-olds like Aussie Ben Simmons. In a very short time, he's made a very big name in the very lucrative sport of basketball. Playing in his first year with the Philadelphia 76ers, he's done so well, he's already been compared to legends of the game like Magic Johnson and LeBron James. Now the tip is his next contract will net him $100 million. Not that any of this attention is going to Ben's head though. As the youngest of six kids, his family simply won't allow it. It's game night in Philadelphia. And there's one name on everyone's lips, Ben Simmons. This young Australian rookie is the hottest property in the NBA right now. It's a full house for this resurgent team and two people never miss a game. Ben's parents, Dave and Julie Simmons. Even in the heat of battle, Ben seeks out his parents in the crowd. I want the sled off now. <laughs> do you still pinch yourself watching him out here? Or do you, you always seem destined for this? I don't know, it's like he's meant to be here. It's like this, was, this is where he wanted to be, this is what he wants to do, and now we're here. Is your aim to be the best player in the world? For sure. What do you think it'll take to get there? It's hard work, uh, in time. And, I mean, is the dream LeBron? Is it, I think, Michael Jordan? Do we see him as untouchable? Um, it's Ben Simmons. You know, I want to be the best player I can be. He's talking the talk, but he's matching it on the court. In his rookie season, in the toughest basketball comp in the world, he's broken just about every record there is. I'm Dave Simmons from the Newcastle Falcons. Ben Simmons has basketball in his blood. His dad, Dave, moved out to Australia to play basketball in 1989. And after marrying Julie, a prodigy was born. Oh. Hang on, actually not the film, his baskets, just the film one. OK, can you turn that off, please? From what age did Ben have a basketball in his hands? Six months. Six months, yeah. Probably. As soon as he could, could even hold it in as six soon months? He could sit up. Yeah, as soon as he could sit up, the kids would put him on one side of the room and sit him down and they'd just roll the ball to him. But he walked very young as well. He walked at 10 months. So he so... was dribbling the same time he was dribbling. Well... Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And he could dribble before he could walk. So Almost, I don't know, yeah. it was just something, he... some of, you know, the hand-eye sort of stuff. So he's a classic sporty kid. Absolutely. Ben was the baby of a blended family of six kids. Julie already had four children by the time she met and married Dave. Oh, I think that, I think it has a lot to do with who Ben is today. I mean, all of our kids, our, our kids are all very close. They're um, all there for each other, very supportive. And, you know, Ben was, and Olivia, you know, there was such a novelty. I think the other kids were a bit older when they came along. And so they always had someone to play with them, pick them up, look after them. And Ben was absolutely, you know, the baby of the family and always will be, of course. Even though he's six foot 10, absolutely. do you still call him your baby? Absolutely. You know, absolutely. That's a big baby. Yeah, he'll always be the baby. <laughs> it's a little bit weird, but he's always going to be the youngest of six, so there is a little bit of a pecking order. Ben's older siblings, Sean and Olivia, are in Philadelphia, constantly keeping tabs on their big little bro and making sure he doesn't get a fat head. 
when you step back even at a function like this tonight and see people rushing to get photos with him, is it all still a bit surreal? I think it kind of, not as much as it was. When it was first happening, I kind of, it's really weird. Because, you know, that's your younger brother. You're kind of a protective as well. You're like, oh, it's like, who are you? Like, just relax, I don't know you. But um, now it's, just, it's the norm. So you're just used to it and this is how it is. Show us the shoes here, mate. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> <laughs> Some cheetah, zebra. They're pretty understated. Yeah, I mean, I just got them you know, a couple of hours ago, so I thought I'd throw them on. Break them in. If things had panned out differently, Ben may well have ended up making his living wearing size 16 football unique. boots. I've got something in my bag here <laughs> that I think a lot of people say might be a bit of a factor. <laughs> footy. This. Sharon. <laughs> um, yeah, I played, I played footy for a while. Um, I was always the ruckman, you know, I wanted to play forward kick goals, but uh, you know, I love playing the game, it's a, it's a very fun game. You weren't just playing though, I mean you were the best and fairest in your junior league. I was, I was getting there, I was getting there, so I didn't play for too long, uh, once I moved them up and I gave it a try, uh, but it's an amazing game. Did you learn much from AFL that you've been able to incorporate into NBA? I think I've used a two hip and shoulders, you know, this season. <laughs> I saw you drop someone. Yeah, I've dropped a couple of people. Julie, you're a Melbourne girl. Were you sort of pushing him towards footy? I was. I love footy. <laughs> was he a pretty good footballer? He was a very good footballer. He really was. But he came to me one night after he received a letter to say that he'd been selected in this team. And, and I said, you don't seem very excited, Ben. And he said, oh. I said, hey, come on, what's going on? I said, you know, this is a big deal. He said, Mum, I just want you to know I only really play footy for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, my bad mother. <laughs> all those years of driving him to yeah, basketball I know, practice right? have paid oh off. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> but we also had an amazing amount of fun with his basketball and all of our kids who, who played sport, all of our kids. Go, Benny! Dave Simmons always knew his boy was going to be a basketballer, but he never pushed him. The motivation all came from Ben. Do you used to play dad one-on-one -on -one in the backyard? Oh, all the time. Do you remember the, the first time you beat him one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, I would have been about 16, 17. And I think it was the first pair I came down and just dunked it on him. <laughs> and he, he kind of knew, he's like, all right, we're done. I figured it was time to stop. Was that because he beat you? He was hitting shots, he was moving across <laughs> the court. I went, how did he get there so quickly? <laughs> so, we're done. I thought, yeah, we're done. <laughs> Ben Simmons from Melbourne, Australia. Coming up, the rock star lifestyle, the pop star girlfriend, and the mother determined to keep her $100 million baby grounded. There's a lot of meathead athletes out there, aren't there? Let's be honest. That's next on 60 Minutes. Right now, life can't get much better for this rising star of the NBA. He's led his success-starved team, the Philadelphia 76ers, all the way to the playoffs. He's got the bling. And now, he's got the pop star girlfriend. Although when we spoke last month, Ben was being pretty coy. Is there a girlfriend on the scene? Uh, a little bit, yeah, I got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that one. <laughs> Tanashi is an emerging pop star, and they were trying to keep their relationship quiet for as long as possible. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> They've since gone public. But one thing Ben is happier to show off is his new Ferrari. What do you think of Ben's Ferrari? Oh my God. 
<laughs> I nearly died when he told me he got it. I'm like, are you serious? I mean, I don't even, I never say things like, oh, that's amazing. I'm, I was just, I shook my head and he goes, do you want to take, going to come for a ride? And I'm hanging on like this for grim death. <laughs> it was terrible. I hated it. What do you reckon 21-year-old Dave Simmons would have done with that kind of cash? So what I said, two Ferrari? No. <laughs> you know what? Who knows? Because at 21, as we know, and that's why we're here, helping to, to support Ben in making those decisions, although we had nothing to do with the Ferrari. There's talk your next contract could be more than $100 million. It's a lot. <laughs> You're telling me. It's a lot of money. Can I be your manager and take a commission? <laughs> it's a lot. Um, it's kind of surreal hearing those numbers, but I think uh, for now, you know, I got to stay you know, focused uh, on where I'm at. What's his earning potential in years to come? Earning potential? Are we negotiating now? <laughs> Brian Colangelo is the general manager of the Philadelphia 76ers. The Philadelphia 76ers select Ben Simmons. And compares Ben to some basketball royalty. He's really got some sort of uh, transformational quality about him that, uh, you know, put him into some pretty elite company with regard to comparisons pieces of LeBron James, pieces of Magic Johnson. You know, these are some of the greatest players of all time. You know, he's an elite company already, and this is just his first year. So he's great, and he's only going to get better. Well, I don't call him great. Right. No, I don't call him great. He wouldn't want me to call him great. He's really good, really soon, quicker than we all expected. No-nonsense 76ers coach Brett Brown is uniquely placed to guide Ben's career. He not only coached the Australian basketball team in three Olympics, he also coached Ben's dad, Dave, in the NBL. He is the son of Julie Tribe and he is the son of David Simmons. They're good people and they're family people. And even with the fame and the money, which is true, and there's going to be a lot more to come on both sides, the foundation remains, and he's Australian. Ben's mixed heritage means he actually can represent either Australia or the US at the Olympics. But he couldn't be more black and white that he wants to wear green and gold. You could have played for America. Oh, yeah. What definitely made... not. I mean, I'm Australian. Yeah? Uh, Never tempted? No, 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 definitely. To be part of the dream team? No. I think we can have our own dream team one day, so I think that would be amazing. What would it mean to you to win a gold medal at the Olympics for Australia? Uh, it would be amazing. Um, yeah, that's definitely one of, the, one of my goals, uh, personally. Ben's roots mean the world to him and he literally wears his affection for his parents on his back every time he plays. His dad's playing number was 25, and on the night we filmed in the famous Madison Square Garden, Ben created some more history of his own in that number 25 jersey. 10 rebounds, 12 assists, 13 points. In basketball speak, that's a triple-double. He's eighth of the season. Another day, another record for you. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> you know you passed Magic Johnson's all-time record for rookie seasons. Tonight? Yeah, it was funny. I knew I, I needed one. I needed two assists and two rebounds, and then the assists just came like that. Um, I, I saw, saw the rebound. Re you needed a rebound with like 40 seconds left. Covington went up for it, and I was like, you know, what? I'm just gonna let him get it. And I was like, you know what? I want it. <laughs> and he let me get it. I'm thankful I got it. It was a special night for the whole Simmons family. After the crowd had cleared out from the stadium, the Simmons clan hadn't moved, soaking up the atmosphere, including Ben's grandfather, who still lives in the Bronx. See how fast Magic Johnson? Got one more, right? No, he's got That's it. it. He's got he's beaten got it. him. What game are you at? You did? He made history tonight. And there's a lot more history to come. But Ben's proud parents know there'll be plenty of challenges ahead too. And they're going to support their boy the entire way. Ben talked about 
potentially being the best player in the world one day. How would you feel being the parents of the best basketballer in the world? It's like most things, we're getting used to it, you know? So, I mean, look, he has a long way to go. Um, it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of sacrifice, but at the end of the day, it is just a game. And I know it gives people lots of pleasure and enjoyment, and that's all great, but, you know, we try to keep it in perspective, I think. If you ultimately become the best player in the world, that's an amazing achievement um, and will take a lot of hard work, but it's what you do with something like that when you get it, because I, I see there is no point to any of this if you don't do something with your success. I just hope that one day he really does get to a point where he can give back in a really, you know, meaningful way. Maybe one day there'll be talented kids coming through and they'll say he'll be the next Ben Simmons. Who knows, hopefully. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be amazing. There's no doubt Australia and the world will be hearing a lot more of Ben Simmons. And if you want to see more right now, you can. 60 Minutes presents an extended feature, The Rookie, available exclusively at 9 now.